Disinfection. Prevention is better than cure. We have to maintain our RAS system properly to avoid the entry of pathogens that affects growth and farming. Disease control procedures. One has to follow the right method to prevent the entry of pathogens and growth of bacteria that affects the growth of crabs. Terrible effects on crabs. Bacteria, viruses or parasites in the water are responsible for the cause of various diseases in crabs. Disease prevention and control methods. We have to maintain our RAS system with special attention to avoid the spread of various diseases. Certain steps to follow for safeguarding the crabs from harmful pathogens. Prevention 1. Avoid the entry of pathogens. 2. Buy from reputable producers who cultivate healthy crabs of appropriate size and weight. 3. Decontamination of RAS system. Maintaining the quality of water in the RAS system from contamination of pathogens that cause harmful diseases is very difficult as it has to be removed. Economic impact. Diseases play a major role in the decline of profit in the business as no one prefers crabs that are infected. So, we have to safeguard our RAS system from harmful pathogens to avoid the spread of diseases. This economically declines the growth of the business. 1. Reduces growth rate. 2. Reduces feeding rate. 3. Mortality of stock. 4. Minimum product quality. 5. Lost opportunity. Control. 1. Biosecurity. Biosecurity is the first thing which we have to consider while speaking about control of diseases. Visitors from other farms are strictly restricted. Visitors from other farms are not to be allowed as the pathogens from infected crabs might travel along with them and affect the crabs in your farm. Don't allow the visitors to touch the water. This is to avoid the potential spread of bacteria in the water. Regular washing of hands. Make sure that all the workers must regularly clean their hands with disinfectants to avoid the spread of diseases. Pest control. Check the entry of cockroaches, rodents and other pests inside the farming. Quarantine area, potassium permanganate. To avoid infection from newly incoming crabs we place them in a quarantine area filled with 2 ppm of potassium permanganate for 30 minutes. Maintain water quality, remove aged crabs, as they are very weak and diseases easily spread among them. Disinfect regularly. The tools you are using to catch and feed the crabs must be disinfected regularly to avoid the spread of diseases.